Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful day here in the uh, here in the wild hog infested paradise in this undisclosed swamp on this collapsing planet on this gorgeous. It is a Sunday morning. December 13, 2020, I'm out here walking the little dog, hoping we don't get attacked and killed by a wild hog. Anyway, I just wanted to share this story that I had last night, particularly for anyone who heard me, heard my video yesterday about all of this stuff you know, human calls stuff, killing the planet. So at dinner last night, I met this fellow. We're just going to call him Billy Bob for obvious reasons because uh, he did not know who he was talking to when he was talking to me. Uh, but he works at, uh, he's uh, like one of the higher up muckety mucks at this giant landfill in uh, in Florida, as again, I don't need to give the location of the landfill and uh, the subject of recycling just came up uh, around the folks we were sitting around the fire just yakking it up last night. And the subject of recycling came up and the debate on where all of this recycling goes. Uh, you know, separating all of your recycling stuff out from your household garbage. And this, and Billy Bob, since he's in the business, he said, I'll tell you exactly where the recycling goes. That gets picked up. Uh, here, it goes directly to my landfill. Sancho, little dog, come on now. Sancho, I, 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 come on. He says it goes directly into the, come on. Uh, that the landfill that he, where the land, Sancho, ah, come on. The landfill where he works is not even in this county, okay? He's, it's probably, this landfill, I'm guessing, is about 60 miles from here, but he said they have this contract out with six counties in Florida, and this is, he, and he just assumes this is, you know, anywhere else, this is how the game works. So their landfill has this contract out with uh, six different counties, and they go around to picking up all of the recycling, but since there's nothing to do with it, to, you know, since China and everywhere else isn't buying this stuff, they have nowhere to put it. And according to this man, and I choose to believe him because he had no reason to lie, he says these recycling trucks from six different counties uh, come in to the 1,300 acre landfill, you know, out of sight, out of mind, and just dump, dump uh, the recycling right out of the truck. Uh, with, with absolutely zero, uh, you know, sorting through it or anything. That he, sa he says it is an absolute big fat lie. I mean, I mean, he can only speak, uh, you know, from personal experience, you know, with his one landfill. But he goes every day trucks from six different counties with all, you know, all these homeowners separating their recycling out and their little green things, and I don't know if they're paying extra. It's going right in 
the landfill. And once he was on a tear, then he started talking about, I guess they have a contract with Walmart uh, for this six county area. Every Walmart in the six county area. He said it is unbelievable what these uh, Walmart, uh, I mean, big ass Walmart trucks showing up at the landfill. You know, he was talking about this recent, that they brought out this huge thing of bicycles, perfectly good bicycles, perfectly good bicycles. Uh, who knows? He didn't know the story. Uh, he doesn't ask. Uh, he just takes Walmart's money, I guess. And, and he was saying there were like dozens of these brand new, perfectly good bicycles. That for whatever reason, Walmart uh, was not selling. They just brought them directly to the landfill and dumped dozens brand new perfectly good bicycles uh, right into the landfill got in their truck and drove away and he says that, that that what he understands that if they get a shipment in the in the box or whatever has is the tiniest bit of damage on it they'll just reject the entire shipment and get their insurance to pay for it we're back in the hog Good Lord, remember I was here a, a week ago. Look what the hogs have been up to. This is the trail. Uh, here is the trail. And this is what these hogs have been up to the last week. So that that, that for whatever reason, it, it, it's that Walmart, and I'm sure this isn't limited to Walmart. He was just talking about Walmart. This is Sancho's opinion of the... Uh, of the wild hogs uh, and, and, and just 18 wheelers full of this and then he was then he went from there good lord the hogs have been having having a good time here I don't think their hog hunts are being very successful what do you guys think so uh, and, and he says the most heartbreaking of all is the food that, uh, again, the way he understands it is that if, uh, you know, the big coolers at Walmart, they have to stay a critical temperature. And if for whatever reason, a hurricane or whatever, where the Walmart cooler uh, goes below a certain temperature and he says it's just a couple of degrees below I guess I, I don't know maybe uh, Aaron can you chime in here uh, that they just dump the entire cooler full of food he says in, in entire sides of beef he has watched these uh, these trucks these reefer trucks uh, pull in uh, you, you know, with hundreds of pounds of what looked to him like perfectly good food, but Walmart cannot resist, you cannot risk a lawsuit for selling food that has gone down below an FDA, you know what I'm saying. And uh, this is one landfill. Just uh, what happened to him, just this. The latest, he said it was Brussels sprouts. An 18-wheeler full of Brussels sprouts came all the way from California. They were still on the stalk. You know, Brussels sprouts are these little cabbages that grow up stalks. And Walmart had ordered them, you know, to be off the stalk. The, apparently the order was for off the stalk uh, Brussels sprouts and somehow the order got mixed up and they hadn't been removed from the stalk yet and Walmart just refused to accept it and sent the truck. The trucker just drove over, they sent him out to the landfill 
and uh, Billy Bob sat there and watched an 18 wheeler full of uh, Brussels sprouts get thrown into the landfill. Meanwhile, you know, due to the corona panic and everything else, you know, food banks are, are just in crisis mode as food banks all over Florida and the rest of the damn planet, I guess, running out of food, people starving to death. Uh, you know, as the hunger crisis ramping up right here in the good old U.S. of A. And uh, Walmart every day is sending uh, who knows how many thousands or millions of tons of food directly to the uh, directly to the landfill. Uh, along with the bicycles and the recycling and everything, he, he goes, the, the whole system is broken. Everybody knows it, and everybody keeps their damn mouth shut. You know, like I'm asking him, well, have you ever, like, whistle-blown on it? And he'll like, whistle-blown? Uh, what are you talking about? I, you know? Uh, <laughs> got a damn job. Uh, people keep their mouth shut, they follow their orders, and uh, 1,300 acres uh, been bulldozed to make way for this mountain, and it's literally a mountain, he says, of, uh, of garbage. Uh, and it's getting bigger every day but it is a beautiful day here in uh in paradise so i'm gonna wrap this up i just thought you guys would enjoy a little taste of of uh reality uh, as we head into the holiday season when you can imagine what the landfills are going to look like uh, after the holidays 2020. So I'm just going to sit out here and walk my little dog through this absolutely glorious, beautiful day. Come see me at the hip camp. Bye, guys.